Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily embed a secure Power BI report into your portals and websites. Stay tuned. Okay, secure embed or embedded secure, right? How do you embed a secure report into your internal websites and portals? Well, it's easy and I'm gonna show you, okay? And so there's three things I wanna talk about in this video. First, Secure Embed is a great replacement for Publish to Web because I know and I've talked to a lot of people that's using Publish to Web in their internal portals and websites and they think because that internal portal or website is secure that that makes that Publish to Web report secure. Mm-mm, it's not true. And I know a lot of other people that always ask me, hey Patrick, I'm not a great developer, but I have this portal that allows me to take these iframes and put them into my portal, um, but it's not secure. And I'm like, well, now you can do it. Then I have some people that are, eh, they can write a little bit of code, kind of like this guy, right? Low code. I'm like, how can I do this without being an expert, getting tokens and using Power BI embedded and stuff like that? Well, this new feature allows it, and I'm gonna show you. So instead of all this talking, you guys know how I like to do it, what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, to get started with Secure Embed, the first thing you wanna do is publish your report out to Power BI. So my report's published, and then in the menu at the top, you'll see where it says file, click file, and you guys know publish to web and then publish to SharePoint, but there's a new option. It's called embed. They should have called it secure embedded. That would really make it stand out, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, all right? So you click embed, and what it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you two things. It's gonna give you, just give you a hyperlink, and it's gonna give you an iframe, right? Which you can use to plug into your internal websites and portal. And I'll show you how to use both of them, all right? So remember, the first thing I said was, there's no code, it's easy to use it, so we're gonna copy this hyperlink, right? I have this hyperlink on my clipboard, and every month, we send out this Word document here at Guy in the Cube, and it has a hyperlink. I'm just kidding, I kid, I kid. Just go with me, work with me on this, right? And we send it out to all the people in our company, and it has a link to our report, right? But there's always someone in some company that's gonna send this out externally. And what'll happen if they send it out externally? If you use Publish the Web, it'll just open up. We don't want that, right? But if you use a secure embed, so when I click this hyperlink, right? It's gonna open up a web browser and prompt me to sign in. Imagine if I don't work for the organization. Do I have a username and password to sign into this? No, I don't. So guess what? Now it's secure. Now you can access our financial information. Sorry, buddy, right? Secure in bed. This is what it does for me. That's the first thing, right? It's super easy, piece of cake. I know what you guys are thinking. Really, Patrick? A hyperlink in Word? Hey, bear with me, bear with me. And I'm gonna take off my Power BI guy hat and put on my developer hat, okay? I'm gonna copy this code, I'm gonna go over to my .NET project, and we had a developer come in who created a portal for us out here, uh, here a guy in the cube, and he goes, look, when you guys get some iframes or something that you wanna embed in, because we told him this was coming, you just paste it right here. So let me show you, right? I'm not, not the greatest developer, I play a little bit. I play one on TV sometimes, but this, right? This is phenomenal, so check this out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paste my iframe in. Didn't write any code, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna go to this page in our portal, right? I'm gonna go to this page in our portal. And so I'm gonna go to our portal, and you can see it says, this is our internal website. It's only for people that work at Guy in the Cube, and it's waiting for my embedded secure report. Remember, I took that iframe, and all I did was paste it. I didn't write any code, I didn't write any code. If I refresh this page, oh, wait for it. Bam, there's my Power BI report. I didn't write any code, I didn't do anything. It's right there in our portal. No work, no, not just lo no code at all. And it's just there. If you're like me, you can write a little bit of code, right? Low code, you can write a little bit of code. And so I have this Visual Studio project that I created. The new secure embed feature allows you to specify the page name that you want the report to default to when it opens. And you can also pass URL filters or parameters using the query string. And let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how to do it. So in my little application, it's already running over here. So you can see on my home page, if I click on overview, right? This is the page I created. I click on overview. It's gonna open up my first page, my overview page. And how did it know to do that? How is it so smart? Well, it's really easy. You take that URL that it provides you. You can see this little URL that it provides you. 
and then you add ampersand page name and then you say equal to the page that you want to show. How do you get the page, Patrick? Well, that's easy. You go over to Power BI, you click on the page that you want to set it to and you can see right now this one's report section. If I click on country overview, you can see this is report section gobbledygook or whatever it is and then you keep going you make note of those pages so when you set it, this up with very little low code you can override which page is going to show by default and you can tell it like for example if i go back i have a button called country overview or i click on country overview the first thing it does it says hey what country do you want to show that's right not only can I specify the page name, but I can also pass in, like I said, URL filters and parameters or parameters. So I choose, say I want to look at France. I click view report. My report's going to filter right here. You can see the filter. You can see I'm only showing France, but take a look at how this looks. So remember the first thing you can say ampersand page name equal report section. Then you can say ampersand dollar sign filter and use the exact same patterns you use when you're using the URL filters. If you don't know how to do this, I have a video on it that we published a while back. Go check that video out. Okay. And it's just that simple, right? So remember I said France. So it's taking the value from that drop down box or I can say United States. Click view report and it um, selects United States. And then you can see down here, I changed that I'm looking at United States. So easy, very little code, just a tiny bit of code. So you can use it for, remember, replacing, publish the web in your secure sites. If you just want to drop an iframe somewhere in some type of portal, it's great for SharePoint online. Or if you want to write just a little bit of code, this is great. All right. So what do you guys think? How were you doing this today? Were you using Publish the Web? I'm curious, right? Post it in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. That was almost like a, that was doing a dance, right? <laughs>